Welcome to my kitchen, Bienvenidos a mi cocina. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a classic Cuban dessert called natilla, but we're gonna be making it with this twist. We're gonna be adding a layer of, of sugar on top and we're gonna caramelize it, which is brulee in it. So before we get started, if you wanna see more Cuban recipes, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my recipes. So let's get started. This dessert is a Cuban dessert that originated in Spain. For the ingredients, I'm using three egg yolks. I'm using um, two cups of milk, one tablespoon of cornstarch, some lemon peel. I'm using one teaspoon of vanilla and a quarter cup of sugar. I'm also gonna be using um, a vanilla bean and the vanilla bean seeds. So the first thing I'm gonna do is separate my eggs. So I'm separating the egg yolks from the egg whites. And the egg whites, um, you can save them for making um, an omelet or you can make other recipes like meringuitos. They're like little uh, candies, uh, light and airy candies with a little crunch. Or you can make meringue for a uh, meringue pie. So it's a, a lot of things that you can do with egg whites. So try to save your egg whites. Next, I'm gonna be adding my sugar to the eggs, and I'm adding about a quarter cup of sugar, which is about four tablespoons. And if you wanna decrease the amount, you can. This recipe right here, you're gonna find made so many different ways. Um, some people add um, the sugar when they put the eggs and milk together, but it doesn't matter how you do it, as long as the end results comes out right. Now we're gonna mix the sugar with the eggs and we're gonna uh, mix this really well so that the sugar can dissolve completely. As I mentioned earlier, then I'm gonna be adding the vanilla, um, vanilla bean and the vanilla seeds into my um, recipe. Um, this is homemade vanilla and for those of you that follow me know that I have a um, video on how to make vanilla extract so if you want to see um, how to do it I'll leave a link in the description and in the comments below so now we're gonna head over to the stove to this part I'm adding two cups of milk one tablespoon of cornstarch and some lemon peel if you want to add a little bit more of cornstarch to thicken it up more, you can. You can add about two uh, tablespoons to two cups. So the more milk you add, the more cornstarch you're going to need. And I'm adding lemon peel. You can add lime peel also if you have, or orange peels. Uh, do not add and the lime juice, lemon juice, or any of the uh, orange juices because those have acid in it and it will start to separate your milk and your milk will start to clump up. Okay, so I just added in a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, but preferably you wanna use a cinnamon stick because cinnamon powder can change the color of your milk. After I finish mixing the cinnamon powder with the milk, I'm gonna remove about a quarter cup of milk and I'm going to pour the milk into the eggs so that I can start tempering, tempering the eggs. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because if I did the reverse and poured the eggs into the milk, the eggs would start to scramble and cook, and we don't wanna do that. And now I can safely add the eggs into the milk without them cooking. Next, I would advise you to pour your uh, milk mixture through a strainer so that you can remove any residual from the eggs or any lumps from the cornstarch that you may have um, gotten when you were um, cooking it. So uh, it will also make your uh, natilla nice and smooth. Now you're gonna pour the milk mixture back into the same pot and we're gonna put it on a stove to cook a little bit more. So this next step is really important. You have to stay at the stove and stir this constantly so that the eggs and the cornstarch mixture and the sugar doesn't begin to stick at the bottom of the pot and burn. Because if it does, then you're gonna have a ruined um, natilla. As you continually stir this, you're gonna notice a change in the texture of the milk. It's gonna go from a thin milk, thin liquid to a thicker cream. 
Next, I'm gonna add some more flavor to our natilla, and I'm gonna add a vanilla bean to the natilla. I'm using a Madagascar vanilla bean, and I'm gonna scrape out the seeds and just add that directly into the natilla, along with the vanilla bean itself, and a teaspoon of vanilla homemade vanilla extract. If you don't have any vanilla beans, then you can just add one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract or vanilla bean paste. And um, I started making my own vanilla because vanilla is, pure vanilla is so expensive. Uh, sometimes the bottle can go anywhere from uh, $30 up to $60. And um, I've seen some crazy prices. So to me, it makes more sense to make my own vanilla because it's uh, less expensive. The process of making vanilla extract takes a while to make, but it's so worth it at the end because uh, you save yourself some money. Uh, like one pack of, one ounce rather, of vanilla beans were like $10. And if you think about buying pure vanilla extract, it's so pricey. But uh, all you need is uh, a few things to make it and you have your own vanilla extract in a few months. And you can also give them to uh, people at the end of the year. Okay, so now my natilla is ready and I'm gonna pour it into my bowls. Okay, so after you pour your, your natilla in your bowls, you wanna um, refrigerate them for about four hours. And I'm adding saran wrap over top of it so that it doesn't get a film over it uh, because uh, milk and cornstarch together and eggs also have a tendency of creating a film or a layer over top of it and you have to remove it. So to avoid all of that, I'm putting the um, saran wrap over top of it and um, in four hours, It'll be ready. So this is a butane uh, torch, cooking torch, and this is what we're gonna use to uh, brulee our uh, natilla and um, basically caramelize the sugar on top. You can find cooking torches in some stores that sell cooking supplies. Um, they're not gonna sell them in all stores because the stores that I've gone to, they didn't have them, like Walmart, Target, Home Depot and Lowe's, those four stores didn't have them. So eventually I had to go online and order it. And if you're interested in purchasing this one or something similar, I'll leave a link below so you can purchase it. So right now what I'm doing is removing the saran wrap from uh, the natilla. And I'm gonna sprinkle a thin layer of sugar over top of both bowls. When you add your sugar, you wanna add it evenly over top of the natilla and um, if you can spread it with the spoon spread it to make it even or move it around and uh, like I'm doing but you don't want to have the sugar in a like a, a pile you want to have it spread evenly so that when you get ready to use the torch to burn it that it won't start melting and um, releasing a liquid you want it to just melt evenly and sort of beat up on top when you're burning sugar, you want to move your torch in a circular motion. Try not to stay in one area too long because then it will burn in that area. And also, um, as you're burning the sugar and you remove the torch, it will continue to burn. So you want to make sure not to hold the uh, torch over the sugar too long in one area. Now, once you finish um, bruleeing your sugar, you want to uh, let it sit for about at least five five to six minutes so that it can cool off because if you eat it too soon you'll burn your tongue and um this is really um easy to make again like i said before and um i'm gonna let this uh cool off and then i'm going to get ready to enjoy this delicious natilla look at this look how delicious this is so now i'm going to take a bite This is very crunchy. And, and this dessert was everything that I thought it was going to be. 
You can taste the hint of lemon. You can taste all of the vanilla and the vanilla beans throughout the dessert. And the caramel candy coating on top is the best part of the dessert. Well, my friends, it's time for me to go and enjoy this delicious dessert. But um, I want to thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. If you want to see more recipes like this or more Cuban recipes, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any recipes. Follow me on Facebook and my Facebook group, Cooking the Cuban Way. Also, you can find me on Instagram and TikTok. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.